Hey guys, Into Weapons back again with you. Got another firearm out of the collection I'd like to share with you. This is a 1993 Norinco Mac 90 Sporter. Mac is M A K, and that just stands for modified A K. What it essentially is an A K 47, just modified a little bit. And uh, it's chambered in 7.62 by 39 millimeter. Uh, the, this particular one is what they refer to as a straight cutback receiver and I'll kind of show you that as we get to that point but in the back here the receiver is straight cut instead of being a slant cut which kind of looks like the same as what the stock is there and there is a difference and uh, when you're trying to modify these the, the particular one that we have here which is a straight cut back is a little bit easier so um, it was imported between 1990 and 1994 it was imported right after the 1989 ban uh, it was kind of imported under the sporting clause of the ban where uh, you know they dropped the, the magazine to a five round count. This is a five round magazine uh, that came with it. I believe it came with three of them originally. Um, but used mainly as a hunting rifle. That's what they were kind of marketing it towards and that's kind of how they were able to get it into the states. Uh, as you can see it didn't have the pistol grip type. It has a uh, thumb hole stock uh, which a lot of people, you know, are kind of varied on their opinions with it. I, per I personally like it. My hand feels really good in it. Uh, some people say their hands just don't feel very good in it. So it's just kind of a preference thing there. Uh, you are able to modify these. You do have to change a number of the parts out on the gun in order to be 922R compliant. But uh, you can do a lot of modifications to these guns just like any other AK-47. Um, this one I found at an auction house and was real happy to pick it up. I, I picked it up more of, of an investment piece. Uh, these have really kind of gone up in price. I believe the original price for these in 1990 through, well, you know, I don't know exactly how long, but you know, there's prices change on these. But uh, the original ad for this thing lists the price at uh, $189.87. You could buy it new in the box. And uh, you look on Gun Broker now, and I believe these are going between $500 and $700, depending on condition, and, you know, the accessories, and if it's been modified or not, and, and things of that nature. So. Um, ultimately you always want to kind of keep these guns in the original configuration if possible or if you do you know remodify it a little bit with some aftermarket uh, parts that you at least keep the original hardware available so uh, if you do sell the gun in the future you're able to uh, put it back to its original condition uh, or its original configuration which people like to have so uh, what we'll do is we'll kind of take a little bit closer of a look at this gun there's a lot of information out there on the internet it's not an old gun by any means like I said it was made in 1993 uh, which you can actually tell, I'll just point out, by uh, looking at the first two digits of your serial number. Generally, that will um, tell you the year that it was uh, manufactured. It was manufactured and imported by, or I should say it was made by uh, two export companies, Norinco and Polytech. And uh, I'm not sure if there were too many importers. I'm assuming there was a few of them. Uh, this one is made by, or imported by Century Arms International. Um, so what we'll do, we'll I'll include a lot more shooting video on this particular gun. Uh, instead of you know the history and background and stuff of that nature again mainly because it's not that old of a gun uh, but I'll show you the disassembly but just to go kind of go into it it's it's much like any other AK-47 there really isn't any differences um, but we'll kind of take a look at the insides and, and the things of the nature so um, let me go ahead and grab the gun down and we'll, we'll go ahead and break her down alright guys so I'll kind of try to do this uh, breakdown for you as best as possible I did have the um, original sling, or I'm guessing is the original sling. I, like I mentioned, I bought this at an auction house, so I'm not too uh, sure if this is original or not. But from what I see in the original pictures of other guns, this is uh, looks like it matches. So it did come with two of the 10 round magazines. The it's supposed to come with three. I'm sure they lost one along the way, but it does also accept the standard AK magazines, which is kind of nice. You can pop out a pop out these and throw in a 30 round, and you're good to go. Uh, so to start off, uh, we'll kind of just take a look here. I'm hoping you guys can kind of see this, but uh, we have the serial number here uh, on the receiver itself and then the receiver on the dust cover. Uh, we have Mac 90 Sporter Caliber 7.62 by 39 millimeter. We have uh, the Norinco um, stamp here, and it says CAI St. Albany, Vermont, I believe, and made in China. Uh, one thing to make note, it is a stamped receiver, but it is thicker than, thicker than your standard AK-47. Uh, if I remember correctly, and I, I could be wrong here, but I believe the standard is 1 millimeter, and this is 1.6 millimeter. Uh, but again, I could be wrong on that. So, um, 
on the right hand side of the gun you do also have the serial number on the bolt that you can see right off the bat and um, I don't think there's anywhere else on the exterior of the gun that you can make out the serial number but there is um, a couple places on the inside of the gun that you will also find it so uh, to break the gun apart what we'll do is we'll go ahead and remove the magazine here if I can do that I'll just drop it here and we'll check it make sure it's clear which has already been done prior to the video as well uh, we'll go ahead and pop the dust cover off and we'll go ahead and remove the spring we'll go ahead and take out the bolt and as I mentioned on the bolt you have the serial number there we'll go ahead and remove the uh, firing assembly here and you have 7456 here on this as well actually this is the bolt uh, this is more of the piston and um, I won't break down the the firing pins and stuff here but you can pop out that pin there which should allow you to take out the extractor and you can pop out that drive pin there which will allow you to drop out the the firing pin and then from there we'll go ahead and move to the more of the front of the gun here and we'll move our gas block latch up here we'll remove our front assembly just like that and I don't remember yes there is uh, there's a number here as well on the very front portion there and uh, one thing to make note of is people always kinda think that this is a threaded barrel because it's got uh, threads all the way down in fact the whole barrel is threaded all the way through uh, people think this is a threaded barrel they're able to thread something on here like a silencer or something it's actually not the case these are just machining marks there are some uh, Mac 90 sporters that are uh, threaded, and those generally will have a, um, a threaded bolt on the uh, covering the, the, the threads themselves that you have to remove in order to put something else on it. So, um, but I guess those are pretty rare and far and few between. So if you have one of those, I guess you're kind of lucky. And from there, we'll go ahead and pop up this little thing in here on the side, just like any other AK again. This one's really tight, so I'm just going to kind of pry it up a little bit. slide that thing forward and you're able to drop off your handguard there. Uh, from that point we could remove uh, our stock and that's merely just a screw here which unscrews the kind of the bolt that holds that in place in the bottom of the floor plate. You know what? In fact I'll go ahead and do it because I do want to point out the uh, different receiver types that you can find with these Norinkos and that's kind of important because one, uh, some of them are more uh, demanded over others, I guess. So we'll go ahead and unscrew that. As you can see, this little screw or uh, bolt kind of drops out. You're able to take the screw off. You also do have a screw along the top here, which holds the rear tang in place. And you can buy a lot of aftermarket uh, market stocks for these things and furniture and there's a lot of accessories that go along with any AK-47 generally, but uh, this is no different. Um, as you can see, the stock drops off. It has a little bit more of a tang in the back here, but there is uh, a lot of um, plates that work with that. Now you'll notice on this one that it's a, a straight cut. It's a normal cut on the back there. There are some Norinkos out there that will go down and they will slant right there and it's called a slant cut. And those are less desirable mainly for the fact that uh, if you want to do you know, a modified Mac 90 here you would have to um, buy either, I think they do make an adapter for something like that, but a lot of the stocks that you can buy for aftermarket just don't work with that. So having the straight cut like that is, is a bit more desirable. Um, and the only way to really tell I guess is to you know, pop these off and check them out. Uh, with the serial numbers, there isn't uh, a guy even commented on one of my posts that uh, he's very close to my serial number and he has a slant cut. So um, either I'm, you know, right at the at the breaking point, or he's kind of right there at the breaking point. But um, one thing to kind of look for if you are going to buy one of these, and, and one question to ask if you if you're buying it from somebody who you know maybe broke the gun down already. 
Uh, once you got that down, as you can see, everything is kind of disassembled there. Uh, it's got a real nice clean interior. Uh, all the mechanisms are well built. You can tell. Everyone thinks, you know, hey, China's, you know, if it's built in China, it's got to be crap. It's actually quite the contrary. Uh, Norinco really builds some fine firearms. Uh, they're well built. They're um, solid, durable, reliable. Uh, and, you know, to tell you the truth, they probably build some of, some of the best firearms uh, on the market out there. Um, you know, with their, with their quality that they make. And, you know, I'm sure there's some exceptions to that. There's probably some of the firearms just as well as any other manufacturer that uh, fall short of, you know, being a perfect firearm. But uh, this one is not one of those. This is a, a fine rifle. This thing is awesome uh, for distant shooting, even with open sights, uh, as you can see from the previous shooting video. Uh, this thing is just phenomenal. I love this gun. The feel of it is great. The only you know thing I've heard that people dislike is that thumb hole grip here. Some people just don't don't like that feel of it, and that's understandable. So um, I won't do a reassembly of it. It's pretty much the reverse of what we already did, guys. I won't waste your time with it. Hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Otherwise, uh, thanks a lot. I appreciate your time, and stay tuned for some more videos.